Yeah. We are live. Oh, we're live. Right no. Oh. It's not live. Oh, okay. Sorry, we're stuck inside. No, it's all good. I mean, it's kind of gross out there right now. I know. It's more fun outside, but. Where have we met before? I don't know. Standby Probably one of the like 10,000 junket things you've oh, had yeah, to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or... Was it. Everybody wants one? Was that you? I don't know. Let me think about it. So Would we, you guys mind we, leaving while I think about it? Whenever, whenever you find it out, just sing it. <laughs> okay. yeah. Sing out the answer. Oh, <laughs> he stars in the true story behind becoming the first American astronaut to orbit the Earth with me now, Glenn Powell. Hi, Glenn. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up with you? You've got a, you got a big hit movie out. Pretty the number awesome, one man. movie in Hidden fi yeah. Figures. That feels pretty good, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you for not saying hidden fences. Everybody, everybody's Who's been saying, saying hidden fences. You don't need to hear about it's, a, that it's a hybrid of, <laughs> of Denzel. Never mind. And... If you haven't heard about it, we're definitely not going to bring that up. Yeah, hidden figures. Um, yeah, it's great. It's great. The movie's awesome. And, I wonder and... what the hidden meaning behind that is, or not so hidden meaning. Oh no, it's just it's just a silly it's a silly meme now. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, yeah. I still can't get past the crying Jordan. That that meme is like the meme that doesn't go oh, away. Oh God, no! I love the crying Jordan. I think I love the internet. For this yeah. reason, I love I love memes. I love gifts, and a lot of people love hidden figures. Yes, which is more important. Why yeah. do you think this movie resonates? Um, well, look, I mean, you know, obviously, um, I'm a big fan of Star Wars, but you know, beating out Rogue One this weekend, it's like I think you realize that there's an appetite for true stories mm -hmm. about inspiring people, and not necessarily just escapism, but seeing you know, um, real women who were responsible for one of the greatest American moments. Mm -hmm. How much responsibility did you feel? playing such an iconic figure? Well, John Glenn, obviously, um, there's those are big space boots to fill, so to speak. <laughs> but, you know, and, and, and John was an incredible figure and, and heroic in so many ways, and I think one of the last uh, great American heroes we have. But, mm -hmm. you know, Taraji, Octavia, Janelle, they get to tell the story one time. Yeah. And so, obviously, there will be other people that play John Glenn, but this is the only time this, you know, these, these awesome women and you know, the story is going to get to be told. Unfortunately, we just lost him at the end of last year. Did you get to spend some time with him before he passed away? No, we tried, we tried to uh, get together with him. He was, I mean, obviously he was, he's been kind of ailing for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so we couldn't get up there to Ohio where he's from. But, um, you know, I apparently, I, I, I got to talk to a bunch of astronauts when we were up in um, Toronto and then, and then screening the movie in New York, and they said he would have loved it. Yeah. So it's really, it's really, as long as we're doing him, you know, servicing so, these women, you know, justice. That's, what did you learn about him that maybe you didn't know before taking on this role? You know, he, he, usually, I don't know, maybe it's, just, maybe it's just publicity these days, but I feel like every time you see somebody that's kind of sensational and heroic, mm -hmm. I feel like the, a lot of times... The world was quick to poke holes in that. Yeah, you know, John was like unpokable, so yeah. to speak. You know, he was like truly yeah. a great guy inside and out, and you know, had you know, was a was a stand up gentleman, almost like the John Wayne of space. Mm. You know, the John Wayne of space. I love uh, that analogy. Yeah. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be labeled that? Yeah, that's no, it's, it's a good one. Did you ever have any? You know, when you're a little kid, you say you want to be a doctor or a movie star or you know, an astronaut. Did you ever have aspirations for that? Uh, being an astronaut, um, I think every kid wants to be an astronaut, and I. I realized I was really terrible at math, and that was that, not that, that was in an the cards. Part of that. Um, so yeah, when you're not good at math, you can be an actor. That's what happened with, me with, the, with the doctor part. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm bad at science and I'm bad at math. We're yeah. gonna go the other route. Well, it's funny. It's you know, on set, you know, going going around the table with Octavia and Janelle and Taraji and Costner. Actually, Costner's Costner. actually pre Costner, Costner's pretty good at math. Actually, is he? He's, yeah, none, none of the rest of us were all terrible. Oh. We have to fake like we know. Wait, what the were you guys like mean. taking a quiz when you're sitting at the the reads or what? No, you know it's, it's funny. I, I realized Costner was good at math when we were talking. I went to a baseball game with Costner. We of course to, you did. Which is awesome. Oh, which is cool. by the way, he's like the man at a baseball. I stadium. bet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, he's like the. I probably. He's Mr. Baseball, baseball yeah. of movies. The yeah, greatest the, baseball movies of ever. So you see, when he goes to a baseball park, people. What games you guys go to? I went to L.A. Braves. The L.A. Braves? Well, you were in the minor league system. Oh, yeah, the, L the Dodgers Braves, yeah. Oh, the, oh, I was yeah, like, yeah. why are you in the minor leagues? Okay, <laughs> no, I was like, no, well, no, you no, really no. are going back to the Dodgers. The Dodgers and then the, the Braves, You're yeah. like, we went to the Durham Bulls game, yeah, yeah. and <laughs> totally. it was fun yeah, for yeah. everyone. North Carolina's <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so the Braves-Dodgers game. Got but it. Costner, you know, he was, he was one of the guys that cleaned up that BP oil spill. It was his patent. Wow. That, and so he, he knows so much about math and science. That's a fun it's, fact. Yeah, you're trying, yeah, you're trying to um, uh, keep up with a guy like that. He's, he, he's, a, he's kind of a brain trust. So. Yeah, what a great crew um, to be you know, associated with. And, and you, know, you spend so much time with these people, yeah. even on the press tours and stuff. What's Taraji like? She's always a, a fun interview. Uh, we call her uh, Taraji the Tornado. She's, she's, <laughs> she's wild. Um, I love Taraji. I, yeah. if, I, if I could do a movie with Taraji, 
Uh, every movie, I would, because she she brings she brings just like life to every character, and it's not like she's an actress who takes herself too seriously. Oh, she's not God. like in character all the time. Yeah. you know those kind of actors kind of can be a little bit exhausting. Bring it down at night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The craft service We're table, chilling. they're like yeah. still in the role. Yeah, you're totally like, totally uh, totally. Can I have oh, like, a granola bar? Yeah. I think everybody would love to work with like Daniel Day Lewis, but I think at a certain point I would be like, when, okay, when, he's, like, when, when he's Abraham Lincoln on yeah. getting coffee. I'm like, yo, yeah. Abe, you want a kombucha? <laughs> he's like, no, nah, man, they didn't have kombucha. And you're like, all right. I, go, I can I yeah. can respect his craft, but at the same time, you're like, okay, what, how do you do that? I asked we um, with the Globes on Sunday and she, talking to Natalie Portman about staying in character. She's like, no, my family would be like, what are you doing, still being Jackie at the dinner table? Yeah, so. I, I think well, I, I actually uh, a buddy of mine. I heard a story about um, Giovanni Ribisi staying in character. He was playing the other sister. He was playing mentally handicapped, and he got pulled over. No. Stop and stayed it. in character. Stop it. Yeah. Did he get out of the ticket? Uh, no, the first day he had to go get him. At, yeah, they, they took him into custody. Apparently. No, stop yeah, it. Yeah, I've heard that story. Yeah, that's just one of those old Hollywood things where I was like, good for Giovanni for wow. staying in character. Yeah. How do you explain that one when you're down at the uh, <sighs> the local station? I guess it makes these junkets way like more easy. <laughs> like you know, you're like, man, this guy's really, really good. I I couldn't. I, I think I'd puss out really fast yeah, on that right? one. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, but you you had aspirations to be an astronaut. Did you ever think, or do you ever want to go to space? You still can, right? Isn't Sir Richard Branson still doing that? Yeah, I think it's just uh, maybe I have to make more movies and get more money more in my money? bank account before <laughs> I go to okay. space. Yeah. I think I think the price tag. I think it's like a very short list. It's probably like Richard Branson and Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a couple Justin of them. Bieber, Justin Bieber. Which if Justin Bieber's going to space, I don't want to. Yeah, do that. I don't. That's great. Yeah. yeah, we'll be on the other plane yeah, the yeah. other way. I'll take a different capsule. Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of buzz, Oscar buzz around this film. Yeah. That's always nice. Or does that feel like more pressure? Like, oh no. You know, um, th this is one of those movies that's it's, it's a feel good movie. It's kind of a throwback in in a lot of ways and. You know, nobody makes one of these movies for that reason. Yeah. And I, I think if you do, you start to feel it in yeah. the product. And this movie was made with so much love and obviously did do justice to these women. So, um, look, you never know. There's a lot of great movies this year, and, and that would be really, really nice because I think uh, obviously it would, it would validate a lot of these, the hard work of a lot of the crew. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, that's not why you do it. What other projects you got going on? I uh, got a movie called Sandcastle coming out. Yeah, and Netflix, then, right? What was that? Is it Netflix? Yep, yep. that'll be Netflix. Okay. And then... Um, I got one I can't talk about yet, but probably oh, I the next oh, couple Oh, I can't weeks. wait to watch that. Yeah, that yeah. sounds no, amazing. It's the, what the, character do you play? I play uh, unnamed. <laughs> Try to get amazing. out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to the yeah, Bachelor yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, are you engaged? <laughs> um, I, by the way, I have a I have a friend that's on the Bachelor right now. It's kind of weird to, to see behind the scenes a little bit on that. It's behind, weird. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah, alcohol. That's a crazy to world. Induce, yeah, to induce I would be the crazy girls that. that come out in that yeah. situation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and my favorite is when you interview them after, and they're like, "I just don't know what happened. I got so emotional." I'm like, "I know what happened. Tequila." Yeah. Is By the what way, happened. that's like a total part of the process. They they get them all. We could go to up. Saddle Ranch and um, have our own bachelor with some of the the riff raff that's. Are we over gonna there. go like recruit people in city we uh, might. city walk? When you're done with your shows, we'll go to Saddle Ranch. That would be a really <laughs> odd way to meet a girlfriend. I don't like to bring <laughs> you around uh, to recruit for me. Um, um, <laughs> get people liquored up at at, at the Bubba how, Gump Shrimp Company. That's and then, my dating life. You yeah. know what I mean. We've got some f um, fans on Facebook. Oh, great. Questions. So, Edward says, when is your, oh, what is your favorite scene to shoot in Hidden Figures? Uh, my favorite scene to shoot in Hidden Figures? Um, well, I love to work with all the women. So, like, obviously, when we were in that sh handshaking line, I think that was a really fun scene. Uh, there's a deleted scene where Taraji actually comes up in the capsule with me, and it's kind of like more of a romantic as aspect, you know. Oh, we, that got cut? Got cut. We go around, we go around the earth together. We orbit. Um... And uh, mm -hmm. we take a few more orbits than originally planned. I think you know what planned. we mean, Edward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Paolo says, who has been your favorite work colleague? Favorite work colleague? Uh, like director or like I, actor? That's all I got. Um, you know, um, Denzel has been a, a oh. great, a great uh, uh, mentor. Costner, Denzel. Um, I, I Give me your phone. Out. Who else is in your phone? That would be a really funny <laughs> game. By the way, Stamos, Stamos on Scream Queens. Stamos, actually, you know, this is like a Facebook Live thing, right? Yeah. We're, so, yeah, we're live. so Stamos, when we were shooting this, like, um, we were, like, naked scene on Scream Queens. So, like, we're Wait till this. I edit this interview and we just, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right when we were Stamos naked. Stamos and I were naked <laughs> in the, the shower. The power of editing. Uh, and, and, and we were, so that whole day, like, you're basically in a robe, right, mm -hmm. and wearing a sock and <laughs> a well-placed sock. A sock. The whole day. 
And, um, you know, it was, it was Stamos' first time to kind of do something like that. So he was kind of like... Oh, you, you know, mean they weren't like, rocking that out on Full House? That's weird. <laughs> no, no, no. That was, a, that was an unaired episode. <laughs> Him and Uncle Joey and, yeah, Bob Saget. It was just like kind of graphic. Weird. It just didn't really work, yeah. <laughs> the new Three Amigos. <laughs> yeah, totally. You know? Lori Loughlin actually was the only one who <laughs> looked good in the sock. Lori Loughlin looks exactly the same. She's a... She, yeah, I love... She doesn't age. She's be, like Mario. She's an age. I, I will be with Lori down in Mexico this weekend. Well, look at yeah, you. Yeah, for my friend Crystal's birthday. Fantastic. Yeah. So she won't be wearing the sock. It's, no, she uh, she's won't. She's more, more than a sock, unfortunately. But, yeah. Yes. You know, one, one can dream. Well. <laughs> um, but no, we, we were with uh, uh, Stamos, and, and uh, he was kind of like, okay, what, what are you wearing for the scene? Are you going like full out? Like, are you wearing anything? Yes. Like, are you wearing like uh, what, what they're kind of giving you in your trailer? And so he, he knocked on my trailer, and I didn't know he was Facebook living. And I took off the sock and was about to open the door. And all of a sudden, I realized he had like a camera. So I almost Facebook lived. I was gonna scare him. Yeah, and, and uh, hopefully you weren't in an ankle sock. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like one of those high tube socks. Very, you, one of those old. Like, <laughs> He's just like, oh god. Yeah, that'd have been a maybe a different career path. Uh, yes, very yeah. different. Yeah. Well, you are on a great career path right now. Thank you for stopping Thank by. Thank you for having and me. Be sure to catch Glenn in Hidden Figures in theaters now. <laughs> ankle Thank sock. You. <laughs> Fire.